I'm just leaving La Posa South and I see some friends sitting here that I've met before. It's S and S and the RV cats. Whoa, look at that rig. Whoa. Still lots of people coming in. Here it is. Hello from S and S and the RV Cats on YouTube. I'll put a link to their channel in the video description below. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi Sal. Hey JC, how you doing? Jerry. Jerry. Good to see you. Good to see you, brother. Where's Sharon? She's inside with the cats. Oh, I want to see cats. Okay. Now, we got a, a system that we use uh, for when yeah. we go in for the cat safety. So what will oh, so, happen is I'll let you in. So the cats don't get out? So the cats don't get out, right. So I go in there. You go in there. Okay. Oh. And then once you're in, um, you can just knock and let me know that you're, after you get in uh, uh, through through, um, through that barrier, okay. and then I'll come in after that. Well, this is like the bank in Mexico. You can't, oh, yeah? you can't get through the second door before the first door is closed, going <laughs> either in or out. Wow, okay. <laughs> and then, um, so if you rob the bank, you get caught in the middle. Hang on. Whoa, no, the Seymour. cat got... Oh, the Seymour's got the... Seymour knows how that works, too, huh? There. Yeah, I started to say... <laughs> Oh, so that's the knock, knock, knock. Yeah, so we I, know it's clear. I was outside, and I knock, and then nobody comes, and oh. <laughs> then I hear a knock on the inside, and I think, well, now it all makes sense. It all makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's our way to let each other know that it's clear. Yeah. Well, hey, I've been hearing about the cats for a long time. I've even seen them on YouTube, <laughs> but I haven't seen them in person. <laughs> Which one is this? Seymour. Seymour. I see more. Right? But we call him Simo sometimes, and people are starting to call him Simo with us. Simo. <laughs> Simo. And you have three, right? Three, yep. Where are we Alexander at? Alexander in the window. Oh, Alexander. Three for them. Alexander is a black cat. I oh, It's my favorite. Alexander. We yes. Call him Allie. Allie. Ooh. I've had several black cats. We've had <laughs> cats for many years. And then we have Henry over here. Henry. Where's Henry? He's right over there. Oh. He's a little skittish. Hi, Hi Henry. Hi, Henry. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh Henry wants <laughs> to be friends. He's your camera. Oh. Uh, well, no. Henry's the shy one. That's okay, Henry. Smell that? Does it smell like a cat person? Huh? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Seymour's the friendliest. Right, Seymour? Seymour is the friendliest. Yes. This is Seymour. He's always friendly with people. He We've had people. cats all of our lives. Um, the last one was two years ago. A little cat came to my house, and uh, it was after a big seafood dinner, and I didn't take the garbage all the way to the trash barrels. I just set them outside the kitchen on the patio, and um, a little kitten, a little tiny, tiny kitten is out there going through it. And I said, we can't have any more cats. I took him, and I threw him through the big gate at the condominiums next door, and he beat me home. <laughs> so well he's going to the animal shelter tomorrow but I don't see any downside of feeding him he slept with me that night mm. <laughs> you know once you sleep with something yeah, you pretty yeah. much own it <laughs> yeah. well let me shut this off and uh, maybe we can put it on a tripod or something and we can sit down and have a conversation oh okay yeah, we started to we decided we didn't want cats so we want cats but because we travel back and forth from Mexico to the United States um, at least once or twice a year, then flying with a cat is, mm. you know, so we can't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And then right. we left at home the first year, uh, and we had some people staying in our house and stuff, but when we came back, the cat was, like, angry with me for two weeks. Mm. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. And then um, he got... Uh, sick and he had renal failure and after five days in the hospital he mm. passed so and he was only two years old yeah, mm. yeah. Wow. well you guys are from uh, New York 
Buffalo. New York, Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York. Snowy Buffalo. Are you New Yorkers, or are you just like wound up there, or did were you born in New York? I was born in New York. Yeah. I was actually born in Canada. Yeah. Montreal. My parents moved to New York in 1970, so we okay. just ended up there because that's where basically my dad found a job. Uh huh. So we were there pretty much. I guess you can say we were there pretty much all our lives. I'm a New Yorker. Yeah. What really? part? Well, uh, actually, I was born in the Naval Hospital in Staten Island. Mm, okay. In the city. Um, it's not there anymore. I think they tore the hospital down. But my dad was in the Coast Guard. Mm. So that's why I was born there. But they're from South Dakota. And then um, when, I, when I was born, they wouldn't let babies fly until they were six weeks old. Mm. So I had to live in the Brownstone on Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn until I was six weeks old. And then they flew me home to South Dakota, which is where I grew up. So. I'm really from South Dakota, but my passport says New York City. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> wow. So are you kind of like a fellow New Yorker then? I guess. Well, I, I think I have some sort of a right to claim it, but yeah, <laughs> probably don't have the uh, the accent. Mm. <laughs> so then you're like a, 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 a kid when you come to the United States, and you're Canadian. Did right. you, as a kid, have to do something to become a U.S. citizen? We we had blue cards. They were called back at that. I yeah. don't know what they're called now. We had um, we were permanent resident aliens. Yeah. And that lasted until like the early '90s, where we all became naturalized. I became naturalized. My yeah. parents got became naturalized. We all became naturalized U.S. citizens. Was that something that your parents did, and then you automatically were part of it, or did you have to like? Take an oath or no? We had to take an oath and yeah. an exam, yeah, a history exam and right. all that. And it took a while, like maybe it took, I don't know, six months to a year, yeah, you know, the whole process. And then you just become a U.S. citizen, basically. Well, welcome and, and congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a little late, but <laughs> but yeah. So I'm I'm a U.S. citizen now. I, I pretty much when I became a U.S. citizen, I think you automatically renounce your citizenship from. The country you were born in? I don't think were... it's automatic. I, no? I'm not sure, but I know many people in Mexico who have dual citizenship, mm. both the U U.S. and Mexico, and they come and go, both Mexicans and retired uh, uh, U.S. citizens who mm. have gotten uh, Mexican citizenship. Mm. I don't have Mexican citizenship, but I am a legal permanent resident mm. in Mexico. Yeah, I have all the rights except I can't vote. Mm. So. I probably won't pursue citizenship, but yeah. You could probably get a citizenship back pretty easily if you ever wanted to. Well, if you're, I think if you're born there, at least in the United States, if you're born there, you're a naturalized citizen unless you absolutely take steps to denounce it. And the reason is because the IRS will follow you no matter where you go mm. in the world. Mm. Getting rid of your U.S. citizenship is not automatic. <laughs> I guarantee you. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah. Uh, grew up in New York. Did you guys have careers? We, did you want to explain where we used to work, how we actually met? and We, um, I was a manager at a house with developed monthly disabled adults and he got a job there. But actually, we met our match. Wait, 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 let me be clear. He got a job, he wasn't one of the patients. No, 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 yeah, get straightened out. <laughs> but um, it's, so we worked there for a while together, and then we uh, we left there and we started a cleaning business together. Oh yeah, and we did that for about about eleven years, was it? So yeah, eleven years, and then and then in two thousand fourteen was the year that changed everything. We had this huge snowstorm. How many how many inches? Eight of snow? feet. Eight feet of Eight snow. Feet. Eight feet. Eight feet. This is in Buffalo. Buffalo, New York. Yeah, yeah and. That was a nightmare, and basically it, it killed my dad. You know, he had a heart attack because of the storm. Yeah. And after that, we just decided, we said, you know what, we gotta do something else. This is crazy, yeah. living in this kind of yeah. weather. And then she discovered um, this kind of lifestyle. Did you want to explain how that happened? Yeah, I saw a happened? video on our reliving. Yeah. And so we had kind of, I was watching minimalism videos because we were gonna move to North Carolina. And then I saw this video, and he came home from work. I said, you have to watch this video. 
and then he watched it and I said, do you want to consider doing this? And he said, yeah. Full-time And RV then we started looking yeah. at RVs and trying to see, could we even live in an RV, such a small space? And yeah. we went from there and then we just decided to do it. Well, compared to a whole lot of people out here, this is not a small space. <laughs> this, how long is your fifth wheel? 35, 35 feet. 35, yeah. You know, and I have a 40 foot motorhome and it's not, we're not camping. Yeah, no. yeah. This is it's, it's yeah. huge. How many? Uh, uh, how many years have you been doing it now? How long? When about did you come out? Two years. About two years. Two years and three months. Years. Yeah. yeah. No regrets. Not really. There are times where, you know, I miss my family. Yeah. And, you know, they're they're like anything else. Sometimes you might have a bad day or something, and you wonder, did I do the right thing? But ultimately. Ultimately, when I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking, and I, I, I say to myself, I love this lifestyle. I don't want to go back to do anything else. This cool. is awesome. Yeah, it's not a perfect world anywhere no, you go. No, it, it's not, but I don't think I'd ever want to go back to living in a house the way we used to before. It's just, this is, this is so much easier. Now, everything's not super hunky-dory, you know what I mean, what yeah. we do here, but, and we're still learning. Sure. It's still a learning experience. I mean, I just learned, I just learned how to fish this thing up the other day. To be honest with you, and then he did it, in the and dark. then I did it in the dark <laughs> on top of it, and we've been doing this for two years. So she used to do all that, but uh, yeah, there's I've a story. been doing the hitching, and I do the backing up. And... So you really are the mechanically inclined one. <laughs> she uh, is. Is. A a she bit. is. She is. I she drove for the up. first. I drove us all the way to yeah. Florida, and then he started driving, like from Buffalo to Florida. Yeah. And then he started driving around. At, at that point, I think he drove from either Georgia, from Georgia to Florida. But well, this is the, the, the second or third year I've seen you guys out here in Arizona at this time of the year. And I know from watching your channel some that you've gone back to New York and that you were going to have a, you know, uh, you were going to do some work camping or something. We did that this past summer. Yeah. Sharon actually worked too. They offered her a job and she, she did a little bit of that. And it's basically uh, like a cleaning maintenance kind of job up mm -hmm. there. For him. Yeah. For, for me, yeah. And I enjoyed it. It was fun. And this was in New York? It. In New York State. At a campground in New York State. And they actually, you know, they, they said, if I want to go back, yeah, the job is still there. Tell me something, because I have I have not RV'd um, on the East Coast. I've been okay. on the East Coast okay. know, as a tourist. Yeah. But I've never RV'd there. And quite frankly, I'm a little put back about the size of my RV. I mean, I'm pulling my car, I'm 60 feet, and yeah. you know, you hear stories about low bridges and no place to park. You, you're, you're as big as I am. How's it, how did it work for you going from <laughs> Buffalo to Florida, did you? You know what, you just have to know where to go in terms of where you can boondock. There's really no no place to boondock. You can't really boondock. We yeah. have to either, so you're paying for an RV park. Mm -hmm. You either have to pay for an RV park. You, you do um, what's that other thing boondockers we have? Welcome. Boondockers welcome. Yeah. Or if you can find, um, if you can find like casinos and that sort of thing. Yeah. So, so there is casino parking. We say have five different casinos coming down through California. Yeah. Mm. As a matter of fact, I'm up sixty-three dollars on free play. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But in terms of you know boondocking and that sort yeah. of thing, it's it's not it. like out here for, at for, all. For, forget it. Mm. If you have a big rig like you have or like yeah. we have, you can forget it. You know, I mean, there's really nowhere to boondock in those areas. There are some there might be places, some here but, and there, but yeah. yeah, but it's it'd be tough. Yeah, and the price of the RV parks is like. 40, 50, 60 bucks, right? Depending on where you go, yeah. yeah. So. Well, uh, where are you going next? No, we don't know. Well, we Arizona, don't know. Well, Arizona till it gets hot, right? Right. Yeah. And then what, do you go north for cooler weather? Or? I'm thinking heading back We might like north. go back to Buffalo. We're not yeah. sure what we're doing this year yet, but yeah. we might go back to Buffalo. The hardest part is probably, you know, you need to have a job or some kind of income out here, you yeah. know, and that's, you know, when you're on the road. Right. And that's the And biggest. I'm guessing you guys aren't old enough for Medicare. No. Right. We're not, we don't have, we're not, we're not old enough to have right. Social Security yet. Yeah. See, I'm way past that. <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty young, actually. Well, thank you very much. I, I, we were talking a minute ago about having been born in New York and I avoided saying that that was in 1945. Mm. Figure it out. I'm 74. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, you look oh younger. Oh my gosh. Yeah, doesn't he look younger than that? Well, maybe it's the lifestyle. Or maybe it must it, be the lifestyle. Maybe, yeah, it's, maybe it's nearly 20 years of living in Mexico with fresh food, maybe. 
Oh, yeah. Anyway, well, thank you guys for um, letting me talk to you today. Oh, no problem. Thanks. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you for visiting us. And, it's and good to see you. you. Yeah, we'll see you down see the road. You. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.